Question 4 says, list all attributes of students with the first name Marcel. So like we said before, the first thing we need to think about is which table or tables contain the information of interest. In this case, it's obvious that it's the students table. Okay. And secondly, we need to look at which columns do we want. The moment it says list all the attributes or all the columns, we can then say, okay, I'm not going to list each column separately. I can just say select star. We don't have to painstakingly list every column because they say we want all the columns or all the attributes. Great. Okay. The next clause after select is the from clause. We know that it's from the students table. Great. But this time we are not just selecting all the rows from our table, from the table of interest. We want only some rows which match certain conditions. Okay. So this time we need to add an additional SQL clause to select only some of the rows. Don't give me all the rows because if you don't, by default, SQL will give you all the rows from the selected table or tables. But we say, no, 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 we don't want all the rows. We only want some of the rows, specifically all the rows in which the corresponding student has the first name Marcel. Okay. So in SQL, when you want to select a subset of the rows, only some of the rows, you include what is called as the WHERE clause. Okay. In other words, we are saying, look at every row, but only keep those rows in which a particular condition is met. So you specify that using the WHERE clause. Okay. So this time, we want the first name of the student to be Marcel. Okay, so we just state that. We say where first name equals Marcel. Okay, so whenever the first name is Marcel, keep it. If it's not Marcel, drop it. Meaning don't include it in the results. As simple as that. Okay, and we have to put Marcel within quotes. Generally, single quotes. Double quotes will also work, but that's kind of, you know, uh, not guaranteed. There could be some issues. So I always use single quotes. Now, unfortunately, this is PowerPoint. When I put single quotes, it does this matching thing in which the character is really not a single quote. Okay. These are what they call smart quotes. Okay. So if you take this, copy this exactly and paste it into SQL, it won't work because these are not the single quote characters. Okay. But you know what I mean. When you type it into SQL, you type single quotes. So that's question number four. Okay, so what we have looked at in this particular question is an additional clause called the WHERE clause, which allows you to say, keep only those rows that meet certain conditions. And then you specify the conditions after you say WHERE. So in this case, we have said my only condition is the first name has to be Marcel. Okay, so I just say first name equals, but since the column with which you're comparing it is a character column, right? Because the first name consists of characters. It's not a number, right? So therefore, whenever you're referring to character columns, the values of character columns, you have to put them in quotes, not the names of the character column. First name, we didn't put it in quotes, okay? Because that's the name of the column. The last name, I mean, the value of the column that we are interested in that is the value in a character column and we put that within quotes. That's all there is to question number four.